this has been a, a, a long time coming. We've been trying to get a, a, an office bay in downtown Fresno for several years. And uh, with a lot of help from the city, a lot of help from, from a lot of people that probably don't have time to introduce everyone uh, this afternoon, but we've been able to, to realize that dream. I especially want to thank the Robert Ellis family, our partners on this project, for making this possible. Um, this is our sixth facility uh, that we're opening. We're especially proud to open it in downtown Fresno, especially proud to open it in the spring of 2011 when there, there's not a lot of new projects at all in America opening up. And so the fact that we're able to do that downtown we think is a, is a positive and optimistic sign and we're grateful for the opportunity. This is an exciting day in downtown Fresno. As Case and Craig have mentioned, uh, this is such an important step for our downtown revitalization efforts. And you know, to talk to Case just a few moments ago and to take a tour of the space and see that upon opening Office Bay, it's already two-thirds full, is a clear indication that people want a presence in downtown, whether it's their first office uh, and they've been working out of their home and now this gives them an opportunity for a professional office setting as well to complement the work they do at their home or whether it's an expansion office uh, this is truly truly exciting and an indication that life has come back to downtown Fresno and as Craig mentioned the symbolism is not lost on me that we're standing on the very ground of the birthplace of our city and to see this project move forward and be the birthing place for likely dozens and dozens of entrepreneurial ventures that mean a lot not just to downtown Fresno but to the revitalization of Fresno's economy overall is really really impactful and then to consider in likely just a few years to be the birthplace of high-speed rail in the United States of America it's a big deal it is a big deal so Three, two, one.